Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Cancer, welcome in. I'm gonna get some messages out for you. I want to see how you're feeling. How's Cancer feeling? How's Water saying Cancer feeling? I hope you're doing well. What are your concerns? Relationship, money, life overall, your mental health, your emotional well being. What are you experiencing? Abundance, woo, celebration. Oh my gosh. All right, welcome in. Remember that these are general tarot card readings for you, Cancerian. So take the messages that apply to you and the rest, let it fly. All right. If the messages apply, hit the thumbs up button. Share the video with those you love and subscribe to my channel to be notified. Well, if you haven't already, subscribe to be notified whenever I post up new content for you. Let's get started. All right, Cancer, we're looking at your past, current, and future energy. I feel like most of you are, it's, it feels like a tie between money and relationship, or love connection. It feels like a tie. It feels like a strain, something you're worried about. Let's see, your past energy, money, waiting, maybe you're waiting, 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 expecting, growing, independence, 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 wanting your financial independence and stability, waiting for it to grow. Maybe you're a bit impatient, uh, like a tiny bit impatient. You're expecting it to grow, but, you're, but you're, you want to experience it now. <laughs> All right, this is your past energy. Some of you moved on, moved away from, shifted your perspective, maybe about money, maybe about the way money comes into you, you're about to change your source of income, maybe you're about to move to, you're about to relocate so that you can have a source of income, maybe you're relocating to a place where you can start farming or start really working on collecting your money or growing your money, or you moved into that place already. So there was a thing that called you to trust your heart. It could be your heart that was calling you to make a move. I feel relocation in your past energy cancerian. You moved away so that maybe you can work on your sense of self. All right. I feel like you just moved away into the countryside so that you can heal. Okay. The water was calling you. Look at that. Yes. So I feel like maybe you followed the river or you followed the, the ocean and you went pro probably home. You're probably single right now, working on yourself. Some of you could be single parents. Some of you could be single, single. And you're working on your money. You're waiting for it. Now, this was your past energy. Okay, so all of this happened already for some of you. For some of us, so this has already happened, Cancerian. And um, let's see how you're currently feeling, what you're currently experiencing. I see how you're feeling because I do feel a sense of worry as if this seven of this seven of pentacles is still here. You're still waiting for that money to show itself to you abundantly. You're independent. You're still waiting for the independence. So let's see. Hey, king of cups. Oh, king of pentacles. My, my apologies. You're feeling abundant confident the head of your business materially successful like you're feeling confident about money right now okay so you have manifested your independence financially you're here maybe you, you are investing like you feel confident as if you feel confident about money as if you feel solidly confident with the king of pentacles so maybe before you weren't feeling that way and it's not just money, Cancer, and it's also your sense of pride and your confidence and your sense of self-worth and belonging and giving the service that you are good at giving. And I, I feel like you're very content financially right now. 
I mean, for some of you who haven't come up on this, it's in your energy. I feel like you're putting in your Capricorn spirit, or maybe aligning with a Capricorn, aligning with a new job, a business, perhaps. Maybe you're settling down, deciding to put in the work. Uh, maybe you're like literally bossing up, working on your own business, finding balance in your spiritual and your financial life. Okay, being diligent working creating paving your way it could be not it's maybe it's not an easy road but you're paving your way through or you have already um to the king of pentacles energy so let's see hmm. focus and meditation oh visualization working on your sense of self that's what i was saying <sighs> healing Praying, wishing, hoping, all of that is good. Because behind this person's confidence, behind the king the confidence and the wealth of the king of pentacles, there has to be someone that's grounded. And not because this person is sitting firmly on their throne. So there's something that's not being able to stir inside of you. You're working on your sense of identity, your sense of self. I like that about you. Your spirituality. Something that's keeping you grounded and solid inside okay or maybe that's what you need to work on so right now i feel like maybe you are even you're very wealthy i feel and it came through oh your ability to relax or to see things from an internal from internal perspectives inner standing you could be a traitor hey it could be, uh, I say spirituality here. Very, I could, I think you could be sharp with your intuition. Very sharp. You could be sharp, sharp, a quick thinker. Look, we have the King of Wands. Hmm. So you're feeling very creative at the top of your game. Mastery, I feel, in your creativity, in um, being in your purpose. In, on the top of your game in your business, Cancerian, you're focused. I feel like you've come from a far way. You often reflect on where you're coming from to where you are now. Okay, giving thanks. King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Your business is one that is very creative. You work with your hands. Even if you are a trader, it is something that you use through your divine intuition. Okay, your, your creative energies things that you manifest in yourself so even if you're a financial advisor you're very intuitive and that's how you are in that position and that's what makes you even more confident that's what makes you feel grounded and stable is to know because you know who you are you know what you're capable of doing all right it's like uh i say you know who you are so it's more like You've already mastered your sense of creativity, your talents, your gifts. So you know what your strengths are, your gifts, your talent, your creativity, your ability to make things grow, your business mind. You know you have a lot of creative ideas that can flourish. And you know how to put them into perspective and to visualize and to see them into being. And you also know how to manage your money. You're also good with finances. And that's what's going on for you in your current energy. And now we're going to take a look at your future. If you want clarification for any cards here, do ask me now so I can come back and clarify with the playing cards for you. Let's see your future energy, Cancer and you mean. All right, let's, let's continue. What's Cancer's future? I know you're expecting a lot. I feel your eyes twinkling and you, you're holding your breath. <laughs> What's in your future? Woo, we have the page of swords, a message. Uh, it feels like... Mm, it feels like um, it, it, it's just like something just happening to you very quickly. It take it like it took you by surprise. It, it, it like you you meet up on someone that you haven't seen in years, and they just come. Like I feel like you're in a busy place on the street, on the road, doing business, and then it's like someone returns comes up to you and taps you on your shoulder that you haven't seen in years and it's like it just comes in so swiftly 
it's that kind of energy or something is given to you swiftly or, or, or unexpectedly a message you may be receiving something that has to do with uh, a position standing up for yourself Page of Swords is my Gone with the Wind, a fabulous card. So maybe you'll be standing in authority in your life. I see nature around you, the wind blowing through you. So it definitely feels like something is happening swiftly, quickly, as if things are happening fast for you in the future. Maybe before, when you're manifesting, things took a while. But now I feel like things just happen swiftly. It's like, I feel like you'll even be traveling, honestly, taking flights, literally. And these things will become more like your life will be changing. Like the speed or the tempo of your life is changing. Maybe you'll be on the move more. You'll be having to get things done more quickly in the future. Based upon your financial independence. Hey, so we have the nine of... Pentacles, this is my Goku energy powering up inside out looking radiant. So listen, you're you have my gone with the wind fabulous card and you have my powering up inside out Goku card. This is beautiful. So you're looking good. I feel like you're manifesting. You're moving through life swiftly. I think things are working out easily for you. That's the energy with the page of swords. And then we have the six of wands moving on. I feel like you could be re relocating, perhaps. You could be, so it's like you moved into your independence, your financial status, like it's a business, for example. You claim a position that's making you financially stable. I know you f you're feeling so radiant and so good, so vibrant, so clear focused clear focus maybe before you weren't so clear within your focus ability no i feel with the page of swords you're very focused in the future you're about it's like in the future your life is changing like the pace or the tempo of your energy is changing like you're moving into this change with the six of wands energy like maybe before if you were more laid back you're about to be more flexible more agile Agile, agility with the page of swords energy on the move i still see like you're single i don't see relationship energy here you walked in the past you walked away from a love connection you followed your heart and you took yourself and you just went mm -hmm -hmm. i'm gonna carry on that's the energy i know look at you you're abundant you're wealthy and you're moving into like your world is changing I feel your world is changing. Oh gosh, I love tarot. I just, I want to continue to clarify. I ask if there's anything you want to clarify, Kensa. I don't see any. The only thing I'm seeing that you'd want to clarify is this moon, this eight of cups card. Right, let's do it. What is the eight? What is the Eight of Cups? What is the Eight of Cups? What is the Eight of Cups? Eight of Cups card for Cancerian's clarification. Eight of Cups. Hmm. So it's either moving from or moving toward. You're move maybe you're moving from a connection, air sign. I mean fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you're moving toward something new financially. Eight of Cups energy. We also have Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe moving into something new. Trusting your heart, trusting your love. We have the Ace of Hearts. So it could be like you're trusting yourself moving forward. Okay. Into something new. As if, if like a calling. Maybe you were in a position where you didn't feel right. And something else was calling you on the ocean, the waters, I don't know. Because there's water here. I did say you're following the water. Maybe healing, maybe you wanted to heal. And uh, so you took, you followed your heart to this new beginning to walk away from 
things in your past okay to create a new beginning a new sense of self if you, i'm going to do one more reading for you after this one all right cancer i do hope you found messages here that resonates with you i still haven't i still don't see the card to clarify except for the eight of cups so i'll leave it there the future is a bit it's the future right so as i'm saying i feel like you're walking into a new pace a new pace in your life maybe you're about to travel to a new country where you're doing different you just have to live differently okay i'll see you next time much love to you okay let's let me tell you the signs in your future we have aries leo sagittarius fire energy passion desire willpower strength grace all right confidence then we have um we have um pentacles energy which is can oh, oh my god what's going on we have pentacles energy which is taurus virgo capricorn with the nine of pentacles it feels like um abundance glory joy prosperity and success radiancy and then we have the air energy gemini libra aquarius with the page of swords which is standing up for yourself which is defiance which is authority which is peaking how you feel which is being fabulous and unapologetic okay so that's your future all right cancer i love you i'll see you in the next video